In today's fast-paced world, where the landscape of relationships continually evolves under the influence of technology and societal shifts, the ancient wisdom of Stoicism offers a refreshing and enduring perspective. Welcome to our comprehensive exploration of love and relationships through the lens of Stoic philosophy. If you've ever found yourself pondering the depth of your connections, the authenticity of your interactions, or the resilience of your emotional bonds, you're in the right place. Stoicism, a philosophy that has stood the test of time, provides profound insights into navigating the complexities of love and relationships with grace, courage, and wisdom. Our journey today isn't just about revisiting age-old principles, it's about applying them to the heart and soul of our modern lives. We'll explore how Stoicism teaches us to cultivate inner strength, communicate with compassion, and build relationships that are not only fulfilling, but also resilient in the face of life's inevitable challenges. Whether you're single, in a relationship, or navigating the waters of connection in today's digital age, this guide offers valuable lessons on attracting love, deepening bonds, and even letting go with dignity. In this video, we're going to embark on a detailed exploration of how Stoic principles can guide us in finding and nurturing deep, meaningful relationships. We'll start by laying the foundation with an understanding of what Stoicism is and how its teachings apply directly to the realm of love. From there, we'll move into practical advice on attracting love into our lives by focusing on self-improvement and authenticity following the Stoic belief that our character is our greatest asset. Communication is key in any relationship, and we'll delve into how Stoicism teaches us to communicate with compassion and clarity, ensuring our relationships are built on a solid foundation of trust and understanding. Conflicts are an inevitable part of any relationship, but Stoicism offers unique strategies for dealing with disagreements and turning them into opportunities for growth and strengthening bonds. As we progress, we'll discuss the maintenance of long-term relationships through continuous personal development, mutual support, and the cultivation of gratitude and acceptance. Recognizing that not all relationships last forever, we'll also cover how Stoicism can help us let go with grace and resilience, learning from our experiences and moving forward with an open heart. Finally, we'll conclude our journey by integrating all these Stoic principles into daily practices that can help us build and maintain lasting, fulfilling relationships. From daily Stoic exercises to shared meditation practices and planning for the future, we'll see how Stoicism can not only guide us in love, but also enrich every aspect of our lives. Through stories, examples, and actionable advice, this video will equip you with the tools you need to enhance your relationships and navigate the complexities of love with wisdom and courage. So stay tuned as we uncover the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and apply it to the art of love and relationships in our modern world. As we delve into the Stoic approach to love and relationships, remember, this philosophy isn't about suppressing emotions or keeping the world at arm's length. On the contrary, Stoicism invites us to experience life fully with a clear understanding of our emotions, a deep appreciation for the present moment, and a heartfelt connection to those around us. So, whether you're looking to find true love, enhance your existing relationships, or simply gain a deeper understanding of yourself and others. Sit back, relax, and let's embark on this journey together. Through the wisdom of Stoicism, we'll discover how to navigate the complexities of love in today's world, turning challenges into opportunities for growth, and ultimately, finding greater fulfillment and happiness in our connections with others. 1. Understanding Stoic Love Let's dive into the heart of Stoic philosophy and its profound insights on love, a theme as timeless as Stoicism itself. 
When we talk about Stoicism, we often conjure images of resilience, emotional control, and wisdom in the face of life's tumultuous waves. But Stoicism at its core offers much more, especially when it comes to understanding and navigating the complex seas of love and relationships. Stoicism teaches us about the art of living a virtuous life, emphasizing the importance of living in harmony with reason and nature. It's about recognizing what is within our control and what lies beyond it, focusing our energy on our own actions, thoughts, and feelings. But how does this ancient wisdom apply to love, you might wonder? At first glance, love might seem a domain far removed from the Stoic ideals of self-control and rationality. Yet, Stoicism provides a robust framework for cultivating deep, meaningful connections that are rooted in respect, understanding, and genuine affection. Stoic love is about seeing beyond the fleeting passions and emotions that often cloud our judgment, aiming instead for a love that is reasoned, principled, and enduring. Stoic philosophy encourages us to approach love with mindfulness, appreciating the present moment and the person with whom we share it. It teaches us to love without attachment to outcomes, embracing the beauty of our connections while accepting the natural ebb and flow of life. This doesn't mean Stoics are indifferent to love or immune to heartache. Instead, they strive to love deeply, but without attachment to the volatility of external circumstances, finding a steadier, more serene love that can weather life's storms. This perspective on love is not about suppressing emotions or keeping a heart of stone. On the contrary, Stoicism invites us to experience love in its fullest, richest form, grounded in the virtues of wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. It's about loving wisely, choosing to cultivate relationships that enrich our lives and align with our deepest values. As we explore the Stoic approach to love, we'll uncover how these ancient teachings can help us build healthier, more fulfilling relationships today. Whether it's the thrill of new love, the warmth of long-standing bonds, or the wisdom to let go when the time comes. Stoicism offers timeless guidance for every phase of our romantic journeys. So, let's embark on this exploration together, discovering how the wisdom of the past can illuminate our paths to love in the present. The application of Stoicism in love and relationships might initially seem like a high-minded concept, reserved for philosophical discussions rather than the heart's passionate ventures. Yet, when we peel back the layers, the Stoic approach offers practical, transformative strategies for fostering deeper connections and navigating the complexities of love with grace and resilience. Stoicism teaches us the value of understanding what is within our control and what is not. In the context of relationships, this principle encourages us to focus on our own actions, reactions, and emotions, rather than attempting to control or change our partner. Imagine approaching disagreements with calm and clarity, focusing on your response rather than becoming entangled in the heat of conflict. This doesn't mean becoming passive, but rather choosing your battles wisely and focusing on constructive, positive change within your own sphere of influence. The Stoic concept of Amor Fati, or Love of Fate, invites us to embrace everything that happens to us, including the challenges we face in relationships, as opportunities for growth. Rather than resenting difficulties or wishing circumstances were different, we can learn to see them as chances to deepen our understanding, patience, and resilience. This mindset fosters a sense of gratitude for the present moment and the people in our lives, strengthening our bonds through shared experiences and trials. Moreover, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. When applied to love and relationships, these virtues guide us to act with integrity, communicate honestly, face challenges bravely, 
and love with a sense of balance and self-respect. By embodying these virtues, we cultivate relationships that are not only deeply fulfilling, but also aligned with our highest selves. Practicing Stoicism in love also means maintaining independence and self-sufficiency, recognizing that our happiness and well-being are primarily our own responsibility. This empowers us to enter and sustain relationships without the heavy burden of expecting our partner to complete or fix us. Instead, we can enjoy the beauty of companionship as two whole individuals coming together to share life's journey, enriching each other's lives without losing sight of our individual paths. In essence, the Stoic approach to love and relationships is about cultivating a deep, mindful and virtuous connection, both with ourselves and with others. It teaches us to love with openness, resilience and a profound appreciation for the present, building relationships that are not just enduring, but also enriching and profoundly satisfying. As we explore these ancient principles further, we'll discover how they can illuminate our modern lives, offering clarity and strength in the beautiful, sometimes bewildering, world of love. In the realm of Stoicism, the foundation of a fulfilling relationship is built upon four cardinal virtues, wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. These virtues, while ancient in their origins, provide timeless guidance that can profoundly impact the quality and depth of our romantic partnerships today. Wisdom. In Stoicism isn't just about knowledge or intelligence, it's about practical wisdom. The ability to navigate complex emotional landscapes, make sound decisions in relationship matters, and understand ourselves and our partners with clarity and insight. It's the wisdom to choose love that enriches and elevates, to communicate with honesty and kindness, and to see beyond the superficial, recognizing the true value of our connections. In relationships, this wisdom guides us to act with intention and understanding, fostering a bond that's rooted in mutual respect and genuine connection. Justice involves treating our partner with fairness, respect and compassion, acknowledging their intrinsic value and humanity. It's about giving and receiving love in equal measure, ensuring that the relationship is a source of support and growth for both individuals. Justice in love means recognizing the needs and boundaries of our partner, striving for balance in the give and take of daily life, and committing to actions that nurture and sustain the relationship. It's the virtue that reminds us of the importance of empathy, of seeing the world through our partner's eyes, and of building a partnership based on mutual respect and understanding. Courage is essential in facing the challenges and vulnerabilities that inevitably arise in close relationships. It's the courage to be authentic, to express our true feelings and desires, and to confront difficulties with strength and resilience. This virtue empowers us to take risks for love, to open our hearts fully, and to embrace the vulnerability that comes with deep connection. Courage in relationships also means standing by our partner through life's trials, offering our unwavering support, and facing the unknown together with confidence and determination. Moderation, or temperance, teaches us the importance of balance, balancing our own needs with those of our partner, balancing emotional openness with personal boundaries, and balancing the passion of romance with the stability of commitment. It's about enjoying the pleasures of love and companionship without becoming consumed by them, maintaining our individuality while being deeply connected to another. Moderation helps us navigate the highs and lows of relationships with grace, ensuring that love remains a source of joy and fulfillment rather than excess or conflict. Together, these virtues form the bedrock of a stoic approach to love and relationships. By embodying wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation, we can cultivate partnerships that are not only deeply fulfilling, but also resilient, 
balanced and rich with mutual growth and understanding. As we strive to integrate these virtues into our relationships, we discover that the true essence of love lies not in possession or dependency, but in the shared journey towards becoming our best selves together. 2. Attracting love with Stoicism In the realm of Stoicism, the journey towards attracting love begins not with seeking the perfect partner, but with turning inward focusing on self-improvement and personal growth. This concept might seem counterintuitive at first glance. After all, in a world where external appearances and immediate connections are often prioritized, the idea of looking inward to attract love might seem like a detour. However, Stoicism teaches us that this inward journey is the most direct path to forming meaningful, lasting relationships. The Stoic emphasis on self-improvement and personal growth is grounded in the belief that we must become the embodiment of the qualities we seek in others. It's about cultivating a rich inner life and becoming a person of depth, virtue and resilience. Imagine the confidence and self-assurance that come from knowing you are constantly working to be your best self. This isn't about perfection, but about embracing the process of growth and becoming more mindful, compassionate, and grounded individuals. This process of self-improvement starts with self-awareness, understanding our strengths and areas for growth, our values, and how they shape our interactions with the world. Stoicism encourages us to reflect on our daily actions, thoughts, and emotions, guiding us towards more virtuous living. As we become more aligned with our true selves, we naturally attract individuals who resonate with our authenticity and depth. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to face life's challenges with courage and resilience, qualities that are inherently attractive. In the context of attracting love, this means not being deterred by setbacks or heartbreak but seeing them as opportunities to learn and grow. This resilience makes us more approachable and relatable, as it's grounded in a deep understanding of the human condition, fostering connections that are built on genuine understanding and mutual respect. The stoic practice of focusing on what's within our control also helps us navigate the uncertainties of relationships with grace. By concentrating on our own actions and attitudes, we create a stable foundation for any relationship, one that is not easily shaken by external circumstances. This stability and peace of mind are compelling qualities, drawing others towards us who value depth and sincerity. In essence, attracting love with Stoicism is about becoming a magnet for the kind of love that is deep, authentic and enduring. It's about recognizing that the most attractive quality we can possess is our own well-being and virtue as we commit to personal growth and embody the principles of Stoicism. We naturally attract individuals who appreciate the depth of our character and who are on a similar path of self-discovery and growth. This approach to attracting love not only increases our chances of forming meaningful relationships but also enriches our lives in every dimension, making us better partners, friends, and individuals. In the dance of attracting and cultivating love, authenticity acts as the music that sets the rhythm for genuine connections. Stoicism, with its deep roots in wisdom and virtue, champions the principle of authenticity as a cornerstone for presenting your true self in relationships. This emphasis on being genuine is not just a moral or philosophical stance, but a practical strategy for inviting deeper, more meaningful connections into our lives. Authenticity is about shedding the masks we often wear, the roles we play to meet societal expectations or to protect ourselves from vulnerability. Stoicism teaches us the courage to be seen for who we truly are, with all our strengths and imperfections. This vulnerability might seem daunting at first. It's a leap of faith to present our true selves 
in a world that often rewards conformity and superficiality. Yet, the rewards of this courage are immeasurable. When we are authentic, we offer others the permission to do the same, creating a space for genuine connection and mutual understanding. Presenting your true self is an act of self-respect and integrity. It's a declaration that you value your own worth and you're not willing to compromise your identity for the sake of being accepted. This doesn't mean disregarding the feelings of others or abandoning social niceties. Rather, it's about being honest in your expressions, consistent in your actions, and true to your values and beliefs. Authenticity attracts. It draws people towards you who appreciate the unique combination of qualities that make you, you. Moreover, authenticity simplifies the complexity of relationships. It removes the exhausting effort of maintaining a facade, allowing you to invest your energy in nurturing the relationship instead. When both partners are authentic, the relationship is built on a solid foundation of trust and respect. This transparency fosters a deeper understanding and appreciation for each other as you both navigate the journey of growth and discovery together. Stoicism acknowledges that being authentic in a relationship also means accepting and embracing the authenticity of your partner. It's about appreciating them for who they are, not who you want them to be. This mutual acceptance creates a powerful bond, one that is resilient in the face of challenges and enriched by the diversity of each person's true self. In conclusion, authenticity and presenting your true self is the key to attracting and nurturing relationships that are not just fulfilling, but also enduring. By embracing the stoic principles of courage, integrity and wisdom, we open ourselves to the possibility of love that is rooted in genuine connection and mutual respect. This journey towards authenticity is not always easy, but it is undoubtedly worth it for it leads us to the kind of relationships that illuminate our lives and encourage us to become the best versions of ourselves. The Stoic approach to attracting meaningful relationships is a deeply intentional and thoughtful process, diverging significantly from the more superficial tactics often espoused by modern dating advice. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that emphasizes virtue, wisdom, and control over one's own mind and actions provides a refreshing perspective on how to attract partners who are not just compatible, but who also enrich our lives and encourage our personal growth. At the heart of this approach is the understanding that meaningful relationships are not found, but formed through a shared commitment to growth, virtue, and understanding. Stoicism teaches us that the quality of our relationships is a reflection of our inner state, and that by cultivating our own character and virtues, we naturally attract individuals who resonate with those qualities. This perspective shifts the focus from seeking external validation or trying to fit a certain mold to attract a partner to an internal focus on self-improvement and self-awareness. Stoicism encourages us to embrace authenticity, acting with integrity and honesty in all our interactions. This means being truthful about our intentions, desires and weaknesses, and accepting the same in others without judgment. In doing so, we lay the foundation for relationships based on genuine connection and mutual respect, rather than superficial attractions or gamesmanship. Moreover, the stoic practice of focusing on what we can control, our own thoughts and actions, and letting go of what we cannot, helps in navigating the uncertainties of relationships with grace and resilience. It teaches us to maintain our equanimity in the face of rejection or heartbreak, viewing these experiences not as personal failures, but as opportunities to learn and grow stronger. The Stoic approach also emphasizes the importance of being selective in our pursuit of relationships, advising us to seek partners who share our values and aspirations. 
Stoicism holds that a meaningful relationship is one that challenges us to be our best selves, supporting our growth and sharing in our journey toward living a virtuous life. This deliberate approach ensures that the relationships we choose to invest in are more likely to be fulfilling and enduring. In summary, the stoic approach to attracting meaningful relationships is a profound and holistic one, focusing on self-improvement, authenticity, and a deep alignment of values. It is an approach that asks us to look inward, to become the kind of person worthy of the love we seek, and to recognize the same worth in others. By doing so, we not only attract partners who are truly compatible, but also cultivate relationships that are rich, fulfilling, and conducive to our mutual growth. 3. Communicating with compassion and clarity. In the intricate dance of human relationships, communication stands as the cornerstone, a fundamental element that either fortifies bonds or leads to misunderstandings and conflicts. Within the rich tapestry of Stoic philosophy, the art of communicating with compassion and clarity is not just encouraged, but viewed as essential for establishing trust and deepening connections. This approach, rooted in honesty and genuine expression, offers a pathway to relationships that are not only fulfilling, but also resilient in the face of life's inevitable challenges. Establishing trust through honest communication is an endeavor that requires courage and integrity. It involves the willingness to share our thoughts, feelings, and vulnerabilities openly, without the fear of judgment or rejection. This level of honesty can be daunting, as it necessitates stepping into a space of vulnerability, where we expose the very core of our being to another. However, it is precisely this act of bravery that lays the foundation for trust, signaling to our partner that we value authenticity over pretense and that we are committed to building a relationship based on transparency and mutual respect. Honest communication also entails listening with the intent to understand, not just to respond. It's about creating a safe space where each person feels heard, seen, and valued. This aspect of communication is critical in fostering trust, as it demonstrates our respect for the other's perspective, even when it differs from our own. By practicing active listening and seeking to understand before being understood, we cultivate a relationship where both partners feel equally invested and understood. Moreover, communicating with clarity is paramount. In a world where misunderstandings can easily arise from assumptions or ambiguous expressions, the stoic practice of clear and direct communication helps minimize confusion and prevent unnecessary conflict. It's about expressing our needs, desires, and boundaries in a way that is straightforward yet considerate, ensuring that our message is received as intended. Clarity in communication also involves asking questions when we're unsure and clarifying our understanding to avoid assumptions that can lead to misunderstandings. The stoic approach to communication recognizes that trust is not built overnight, but is the result of consistent, honest, and clear interactions over time. It acknowledges that while being open and vulnerable may sometimes lead to short-term discomfort, the long-term benefits of a trust-filled relationship far outweigh these temporary challenges. Such a relationship becomes a source of strength, support, and shared growth, capable of withstanding the tests of time and adversity. In essence, establishing trust through honest communication is about embracing the virtues of courage, wisdom, and integrity. It's a commitment to building relationships that are grounded in authenticity, where each person can fully be themselves, secure in the knowledge that they are accepted and loved for who they truly are. This stoic principle of communication is not just a strategy for avoiding misunderstandings, but a profound practice of building relationships that are rich in trust, understanding, and mutual respect. 
Practicing empathy and understanding in communication is akin to navigating a river with care and attention, recognizing the currents and eddies that shape the journey of each word and sentiment exchanged. This aspect of communication, deeply embedded in Stoic philosophy, invites us to step outside ourselves and view the world through the eyes of another. It's about more than just hearing the words spoken. It's about connecting with the underlying emotions, intentions, and experiences that those words convey. This level of empathetic engagement forms the bedrock of meaningful and enriching relationships. Empathy, in its essence, is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. It requires an openness of heart and mind, a willingness to be present with another's experience without judgment or the urge to fix things hastily. This practice goes beyond mere sympathy, offering not just a shoulder to cry on, but a shared space of emotional resonance. When we communicate with empathy, we signal to our partner that their feelings are valid, their experiences are acknowledged, and they are not alone. This validation is incredibly powerful, fostering a sense of safety and belonging within the relationship. Understanding, on the other hand, involves a deliberate effort to grasp the thoughts, motives and perspectives of our partner. It's a cognitive counterpart to the emotional resonance of empathy. Practicing understanding means actively listening, asking clarifying questions, and resisting the impulse to project our own biases and experiences onto the other person. It's about recognizing the uniqueness of their perspective and seeking to understand their point of view, even, and especially, when it differs from our own. Together, empathy and understanding bridge the gap between individuals transforming communication from a mere exchange of information into a shared experience of connection and insight. This dual practice encourages us not only to speak and listen, but to do so with a heart and mind attuned to the subtleties of human emotion and thought. It allows us to navigate disagreements with grace, celebrate joys with shared exuberance, and offer support that truly resonates with our partner's needs. Moreover, practicing empathy and understanding cultivates a deeper level of trust and intimacy in the relationship. When our partner feels deeply understood and empathized with, it creates a bond of emotional intimacy that is both profound and enduring. It signals that the relationship is a safe haven for authenticity, where each person can express themselves fully and be met with compassion and acceptance. In summary, practicing empathy and understanding is not just a technique for effective communication, but a profound expression of our shared humanity. It enriches our relationships, deepening our connections and enabling us to grow together in understanding and love. By embracing these practices, we not only become better communicators, but also more compassionate and connected human beings, capable of building relationships that are not just enduring, but truly transformative. Setting and respecting boundaries is an essential aspect of healthy communication, serving as the framework within which deep and meaningful connections can flourish. This concept, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, emphasizes the importance of recognizing and honoring the limits of ourselves and those around us. It's about understanding where one person ends and another begins, fostering a relationship built on mutual respect, autonomy and trust. Boundaries in communication are not about building walls or distancing ourselves from others. Rather, they are about clearly defining what is acceptable and what is not, what we are comfortable with and what we are not. This clarity allows us to interact with openness and vulnerability, secure in the knowledge that our limits will be respected. Setting boundaries is an act of self-respect and self-awareness, a declaration of our needs, values and priorities. It requires introspection and honesty, both with ourselves and with those we are in relationship with. Respecting boundaries, on the other hand, is an act of empathy and understanding. 
It involves actively listening to and honoring the boundaries set by others, acknowledging their right to autonomy and self-determination. This respect is foundational to trust and intimacy as it assures our partners that their needs and comfort are paramount to us. When boundaries are mutually respected, it creates a safe space for each person to grow and express themselves fully without fear of overstepping or being overwhelmed. Communicating boundaries is a delicate balance requiring clarity, assertiveness and sensitivity. It's about expressing our needs in a way that is direct yet compassionate, avoiding ambiguity while also being mindful of the other person's feelings. This communication is not a one-time event, but an ongoing dialogue, evolving as the relationship grows and changes. It's a process of negotiation and compromise, where both partners feel heard, valued and respected. Furthermore, respecting boundaries goes beyond mere acknowledgement. It requires action and adaptation. It involves making adjustments in our behavior and expectations to accommodate the boundaries of our partner, demonstrating through our actions that we take their needs seriously. This might mean making compromises, changing plans, or simply being more mindful of our words and actions. In essence, setting and respecting boundaries is about cultivating a relationship based on mutual respect, understanding, and care. It enables us to navigate the complexities of human connections with grace and dignity, ensuring that our relationships are not only loving, but also empowering. By embracing the stoic principles of wisdom, courage, and moderation in our communication, we can build relationships that honor the individuality of each person while fostering a deep and lasting connection. 4. Dealing with conflict stoically. Dealing with conflict stoically introduces us to the profound impact of perception on conflict, a theme deeply woven into the fabric of stoic philosophy. This perspective invites us to consider not just the external events or disagreements that may arise in our relationships, but more importantly, how our interpretation of these events shapes our response to them. It's a reminder that conflict, at its core, is not just about the situation at hand, but about the meanings we assign to it, the narratives we construct around it, and the emotions these narratives evoke within us. In the Stoic view, our perception of conflict is influenced by our judgments and beliefs about what is happening and why. We often react not to the situation itself, but to our interpretation of it, which can be colored by past experiences, fears, and unexamined assumptions. For example, a simple misunderstanding can escalate into a significant conflict if we perceive it as an intentional slight, rather than a communication mishap. This means that many conflicts are not rooted in objective reality, but in the subjective interpretation of that reality. Recognizing the impact of perception on conflict empowers us to take a step back and reevaluate our interpretations. It encourages us to ask ourselves whether our perception is accurate, whether we might be jumping to conclusions, or whether there are alternative explanations that we haven't considered. This self-examination is not about denying our feelings or the reality of the situation, but about gaining a clearer, more objective view of what's actually happening. It's about distinguishing between what is within our control, our thoughts, beliefs and reactions, and what is not, and choosing to focus our energy on the former. Moreover, this stoic approach to conflict emphasizes the importance of empathy and understanding. By considering how our perception of the conflict might differ from the other person's, we can bridge the gap of misunderstanding and find common ground. It's a process of mutual exploration, where both parties seek to understand each other's perspectives rather than merely defending their own. This doesn't necessarily mean agreeing with the other person's viewpoint, but acknowledging its validity 
and the emotions behind it. In practical terms, dealing with conflict stoically involves a shift from a reactive stance to a proactive one. Instead of responding to conflict with immediate emotion or defensiveness, we can choose to respond with curiosity, asking questions to clarify understanding and express our feelings and needs without blamey or judgment. This approach not only diffuses tension but also fosters a deeper connection and mutual respect, turning potential conflicts into opportunities for growth and understanding. In essence, the impact of perception on conflict reminds us that we have the power to shape our experience of conflict through the lens of our perception. By adopting a stoic approach, we can navigate disagreements with wisdom, compassion, and a commitment to mutual understanding, transforming the challenges of conflict into opportunities for deepening our relationships and enriching our lives. Conflict resolution strategies, particularly those inspired by Stoic philosophy, offer a roadmap for navigating disagreements with grace, understanding, and a focus on constructive outcomes. These strategies are not about winning or proving a point, but about finding solutions that respect the needs and perspectives of all parties involved. By embracing these approaches, we can transform conflicts from sources of division into opportunities for growth and deeper connection. The first step in Stoic-inspired conflict resolution is to cultivate a mindset of openness and non-judgment. This involves approaching the conflict with a genuine willingness to listen and understand, rather than simply to defend our position or impose our viewpoint. Such openness requires us to set aside our ego and preconceptions, creating a space where constructive dialogue can occur. It's about acknowledging that we may not have all the answers and that the other person's perspective can contribute valuable insights to the resolution process. Active listening plays a crucial role in this strategy. It's about fully engaging with the other person's words, seeking to understand their meaning and emotions rather than just waiting for our turn to speak. Active listening demonstrates respect and validation, signaling to the other person that their feelings and viewpoints matter. This can significantly lower defenses, making it easier to find common ground. Another key strategy is to focus on the issue, not the person. This distinction helps prevent the conflict from becoming personal, reducing the likelihood of hurt feelings and resentment. By concentrating on the problem at hand, we can work collaboratively to find solutions, exploring various options and compromises without attributing blame. This approach encourages a problem-solving attitude where the goal is to address the issue in a way that meets both parties' needs as much as possible. Communicating clearly and assertively is also essential. This means expressing our needs, feelings and concerns in a way that is honest and straightforward, without being aggressive or passive. It's about finding a balance between standing up for ourselves and respecting the other person's rights and feelings. Assertive communication fosters an environment where both parties can feel safe to express themselves openly, making it easier to reach a mutually satisfying resolution. Finally, embracing flexibility and a willingness to compromise is vital. Conflict resolution often involves give and take, where both parties may need to adjust their expectations and be open to alternative solutions. This doesn't mean abandoning our needs or values, but rather recognizing that compromise can lead to outcomes that are acceptable and beneficial for all involved. By being flexible, we demonstrate our commitment to the relationship and our willingness to work together to find the best possible solution. In conclusion, Stoic-inspired conflict resolution strategies offer a path to resolving disagreements with empathy respect, and a focus on positive outcomes. By practicing openness, active listening, focusing on the issue, communicating assertively, and being willing to compromise, 
we can navigate conflicts in a way that strengthens our relationships and promotes mutual understanding and respect. These strategies not only help us deal with conflicts more effectively, but also enrich our ability to connect with others on a deeper level. Learning and growing from relationship challenges is a concept that resonates deeply within the Stoic philosophy, emphasizing the transformative potential of facing and overcoming the difficulties that inevitably arise in close relationships. This perspective encourages us to view challenges not as obstacles that threaten the harmony and stability of our connections, but as invaluable opportunities for personal growth, deepening understanding and strengthening the bonds we share with others. When we encounter conflict, misunderstandings or any form of relationship distress, it's easy to fall into patterns of blame, avoidance or resentment. However, adopting a stoic approach means shifting our focus from external circumstances and other people's actions to our own responses and what we can learn from these experiences. Every challenge in a relationship presents a chance to practice virtues such as patience, empathy, resilience and forgiveness, all of which are core to Stoic philosophy. By embracing these opportunities, we not only navigate the immediate situation more effectively, but also cultivate a stronger, more virtuous character over time. Moreover, relationship challenges often serve as mirrors, reflecting aspects of ourselves that we might not have recognized or confronted otherwise. They can reveal insecurities, unexamined beliefs, or patterns of behavior that may be contributing to the problem. This self-awareness is a gift, providing us with the clarity needed to initiate meaningful changes in how we relate to ourselves and others. The Stoics believed in the power of self-improvement and personal growth, and relationship challenges offer a practical real-world context in which to apply and test these principles. Engaging with relationship challenges also fosters a deeper understanding and appreciation for our partner. By working through difficulties together, we gain insights into their fears, desires and values as well as our own. This mutual vulnerability and shared journey of overcoming obstacles can significantly deepen the emotional intimacy and trust between partners. It's a process of building a shared narrative of resilience, where both individuals emerge stronger and more united. Furthermore, learning and growing from relationship challenges encourages a mindset of gratitude Instead of taking the smooth phases of our relationships for granted, we learn to appreciate them more fully, recognizing the effort and growth that have gone into maintaining and strengthening the bond. The Stoic practice of reflecting on and appreciating the present moment is enriched by the knowledge that we have faced challenges and grown together, making the peaceful and joyful times even more precious. In essence, Learning and growing from relationship challenges is about embracing the stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice and moderation in our closest connections. It's about seeing every difficulty as a chance to evolve, to deepen our understanding of ourselves and our partners and to fortify the foundations of our relationships. Through this lens, challenges become not just hurdles to be overcome, but essential elements of the journey toward a more fulfilling and virtuous life together. 5. Maintaining long-term relationships Maintaining long-term relationships, a cornerstone of human connection, hinges significantly on the principles of encouraging personal and mutual growth. This journey of continuous evolution, deeply embedded in Stoic philosophy, underscores the importance of not just growing alongside each other, but also fostering an environment where each individual is motivated to become their best self. This perspective challenges the static notion of relationships, inviting us instead to view them as dynamic partnerships characterized by ongoing development and enrichment. 
Encouraging personal growth within the context of a relationship means recognizing and supporting each other's ambitions, interests and paths to self-improvement. It involves creating a space where both partners feel free to explore their potentials, pursue their passions and face their fears, knowing they have the unwavering support of their partner. This kind of support is not about pushing or imposing our own expectations on our partner, but rather offering encouragement, understanding and sometimes a gentle nudge out of the comfort zone when needed. It's about being each other's cheerleader, celebrating successes and providing comfort and perspective in times of failure. Mutual growth, on the other hand, is about evolving together, finding shared goals, values and purposes that bind you closer. It involves actively engaging in activities and experiences that strengthen the relationship, whether it's through travel, learning a new skill together, or engaging in deep philosophical discussions that challenge your perspectives and broaden your understanding of the world and each other. This shared journey of growth fosters a deeper sense of unity and partnership, making the relationship not just a part of your life, but a vital, enriching aspect of your identity. Furthermore, encouraging personal and mutual growth requires open, honest communication about each other's needs, dreams, and the direction in which you're both heading. It's about periodically checking in with each other, reassessing your goals as individuals and as a couple, and making adjustments to ensure you're both moving in directions that feel fulfilling and aligned with your core values. This dynamic process keeps the relationship vibrant and resilient, capable of adapting to the inevitable changes that life brings. At its heart, encouraging personal and mutual growth within a relationship is a testament to the stoic belief in the power of self-awareness, wisdom, and the pursuit of a virtuous life. It acknowledges that true fulfillment comes not from static complacency, but from the relentless pursuit of growth, both as individuals and together. By embedding these principles into the fabric of our relationships, we not only enhance our personal well-being, but also cultivate partnerships that are deeply rewarding, enduring, and capable of withstanding the tests of time and change. In essence, this approach transforms love from a mere feeling into a shared journey of continuous evolution, bringing out the best in each other and making the relationship a true partnership of growth and discovery. Sustaining love and connection over time in a relationship is an art and science, blending emotional depth with practical actions, underpinned by a commitment to growth, understanding and mutual respect. This journey of maintaining a vibrant and fulfilling partnership, despite the inevitable challenges and changes life brings, is greatly informed by stoic principles, offering a path to enduring love rooted in wisdom and virtue. At the heart of sustaining love over time is the practice of continual, intentional effort. Love is not a static emotion, but a dynamic process that requires nurturing, attention and renewal. It's about choosing your partner every day, not out of habit or obligation, but from a genuine desire to share your life with them, to support their dreams and aspirations, and to build a shared future together. This choice is reflected in the small, everyday actions as much as the grand gestures, the morning kiss, the listening ear after a hard day, the shared laughter, and the shoulder to lean on. Communication plays a pivotal role in keeping the connection alive and deepening over time. Open, honest dialogue about feelings, needs, and concerns along with the willingness to listen and truly hear your partner, fosters a deep sense of understanding and intimacy. It's about creating a safe space where vulnerabilities can be shared without fear of judgment, where each partner feels seen, heard, and valued. This level of communication builds trust and reinforces the bond, making the relationship resilient in the face of external pressures and internal conflicts. 
Furthermore, sustaining love requires the cultivation of shared experiences and memories, which serve as the foundation of your unique bond. These can range from everyday rituals, like a nightly walk or a weekly date night, to major milestones and adventures undertaken together. These shared moments, filled with joy, laughter and sometimes challenges, weave a rich tapestry of connection, reminding both partners of their journey together and the love that has grown and evolved along the way. Adapting to change is also crucial for sustaining love over time. People grow and evolve, and so do relationships. Embracing change rather than resisting it allows the relationship to mature and deepen. This might mean renegotiating roles, adapting to new life stages, or simply acknowledging that the ways you express love and affection may evolve. The stoic concept of embracing what we cannot control and focusing on our responses allows us to navigate these changes with grace, seeing them as opportunities for growth rather than threats to stability. Lastly, maintaining love and connection over time requires a commitment to personal and mutual growth. Understanding that a thriving relationship is made up of two individuals who support each other's development and happiness. It's about encouraging each other's dreams, celebrating each other's successes, and being there to offer support during failures. This mutual support creates a powerful partnership where both individuals feel empowered to be their best selves, knowing they have the love and support of their partner. In essence, sustaining love and connection over time is a deliberate act of love, requiring effort, communication, shared experiences, adaptability, and a commitment to growth. By applying stoic principles to our relationships, we can cultivate a love that not only endures, but also enriches our lives and the lives of our partners, offering a source of strength, joy, and fulfillment through the years. Gratitude, acceptance, and the role of positive practices are foundational elements in maintaining long-term relationships, deeply intertwined with the principles of Stoic philosophy. These practices transform the everyday fabric of our connections, imbuing them with resilience, depth, and a profound sense of fulfillment. Let's delve into how each of these components plays a crucial role in nurturing and sustaining our most cherished bonds. Gratitude is more than just a polite acknowledgement of the good in our lives. It is a powerful practice that shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance that surrounds us. In the context of relationships, practicing gratitude means actively recognizing and appreciating the qualities of our partner, the beauty of our shared experiences, and even the lessons learned from challenges faced together. This perspective fosters a positive environment, countering the negativity bias that can sometimes overshadow our perceptions and lead to discontent. By regularly expressing gratitude, whether through verbal acknowledgement, a heartfelt note, or a simple act of kindness, we reinforce the value of our partnership and remind ourselves and our partner of the unique, irreplaceable contributions each brings to the relationship. Acceptance plays a pivotal role in the dynamic landscape of long-term relationships. It involves embracing our partner for who they are, including their strengths, weaknesses, and quirks, without the underlying intention to change them. This doesn't mean condoning harmful behaviors or compromising our own values, but rather recognizing the inherent complexity of each individual. Acceptance goes hand in hand with understanding, fostering a deep sense of empathy and compassion within the relationship. It's about seeing the person in front of us with clarity and love, acknowledging that growth and change are personal journeys that cannot be forced. This acceptance creates a foundation of trust and security where both partners feel seen, valued and supported in their authentic selves. The role of positive practices in relationships cannot be overstated. Engaging in habits that nurture the mind, body and spirit, both individually and as a couple, 
significantly contributes to the health and longevity of the relationship. This could include shared rituals like morning walks, meditation sessions, or regular date nights, as well as personal habits that enhance our well-being and, by extension, the quality of our interactions with our partner. These practices foster a sense of connection and alignment, creating shared experiences that deepen the bond and reinforce the commitment to each other's happiness and growth. Integrating gratitude, acceptance, and positive practices into the fabric of our relationships requires intentionality and effort. It's about making a conscious choice every day to focus on the good, embrace the present moment, and engage in actions that enrich our connection. By doing so, we cultivate relationships that are not just enduring but also vibrant, satisfying, and deeply fulfilling. This approach aligns with the stoic principles of focusing on what we can control, our attitudes, actions, and responses, thereby creating a life and partnerships that reflect our highest ideals and deepest values. 6. Stoicism and Letting Go Stoicism, a philosophy that has offered guidance and comfort to countless individuals through the ages, provides profound insights into handling breakups and losses with dignity and resilience. In the face of relationship endings, which can be among the most deeply painful experiences in our lives, Stoicism teaches us not just how to endure, but how to grow, finding strength and wisdom in the midst of sorrow. Breakups and losses force us to confront the impermanent nature of all things, a fundamental concept in Stoic thought. It reminds us that our control over external events and outcomes is limited, but our control over our responses and attitudes is within our power. This understanding encourages us to approach the end of a relationship not as a failure or rejection, but as a part of the natural ebb and flow of life. It's an opportunity to practice acceptance, acknowledging the pain and sadness without letting them define us. Stoicism teaches us to look inward, focusing on our own growth and resilience in the aftermath of a loss. This period of introspection can lead to a deeper understanding of ourselves, our needs, and our values. It's a time for self-compassion, allowing ourselves to grieve and heal, while also gradually redirecting our energies towards personal development and new pursuits. This process of rebuilding, though often slow and challenging, is also a testament to our capacity for resilience, a key Stoic virtue. Moreover, Stoicism offers the perspective that every experience, no matter how difficult, comes with lessons to be learned. Handling breakups and losses with dignity involves extracting wisdom from the experience, understanding what it has taught us about love, compatibility, and our own character. This reflective process can transform pain into growth, helping us to emerge stronger and more self-aware. Resilience in the Stoic sense is not about suppressing emotions or pretending the loss doesn't hurt. Rather, it's about facing our feelings with courage, allowing ourselves to experience and move through them without becoming consumed by them. It's about finding a balance between acknowledging the pain of loss and recognizing our ability to endure and grow from it. This resilience is further strengthened by the Stoic practice of gratitude, focusing on the positive aspects of our lives and the relationships that have enriched us, even if they have ended. In essence, Stoicism provides a framework for handling breakups and losses with grace, viewing them as opportunities for deep personal growth and increased emotional resilience. By embracing Stoic principles, we can navigate the painful waters of relationship endings with a sense of dignity, learning to let go of what we cannot control while focusing on our own development and well-being. This philosophical approach doesn't diminish the pain of loss, but offers a path through it, leading to a place of strength, wisdom, and renewed purpose. 
extracting lessons and growth from painful experiences is a profound and transformative process, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. This approach to life's inevitable challenges and sorrows offers a pathway to resilience, wisdom, and ultimately, a deeper appreciation of our journey. Painful experiences, whether they stem from personal setbacks, relationship issues, or broader life circumstances, often carry within them the seeds of growth and enlightenment, if we are willing to look for them. The Stoic practice of viewing obstacles as opportunities teaches us that within every painful experience lies the potential for personal development. It encourages us to ask ourselves what we can learn from these situations, how they can contribute to our character, and how they can enhance our understanding of life. This perspective shifts our focus from the pain itself to the insights and strength that can be gleaned from it. It's about finding the silver lining, not in a way that diminishes the validity of our emotions, but in a way that adds a layer of meaning to our experiences. One of the key lessons we can extract from painful experiences is resilience. The ability to face adversity and emerge stronger on the other side. Every challenge we overcome, every heartbreak we endure, and every disappointment we navigate teaches us something about our capacity to adapt, survive, and thrive. These experiences harden us in the best sense, not making us cold or indifferent, but fortifying our spirit and our resolve. Furthermore, painful experiences often provide clarity about what truly matters to us. They strip away the superficial, leaving us with a clearer understanding of our values, priorities, and the people who are genuinely important in our lives. This clarity is invaluable, guiding our future decisions and interactions in a way that aligns more closely with our authentic selves. Growth from painful experiences also involves the development of empathy and compassion. Having faced and navigated our own struggles, we are better equipped to understand and support others in their moments of need. This deepened capacity for empathy enriches our relationships and connects us more profoundly to the human experience, reminding us of our shared vulnerability and strength. Additionally, these experiences teach us the importance of self-care and the need to cultivate inner peace and stability. They encourage us to develop practices that nurture our mental, emotional and physical well-being, ensuring that we have a solid foundation to face whatever challenges may come. This self-care becomes a crucial aspect of our growth, enhancing our quality of life and our ability to contribute positively to the lives of those around us. In essence, extracting lessons and growth from painful experiences is a journey of transformation guided by the principles of Stoic philosophy. It's a process that challenges us to look beyond the immediate discomfort and to see the broader tapestry of our lives woven with threads of resilience, clarity, empathy and strength. By embracing this perspective, we can navigate life's storms with grace and emerge not just unscathed, but enriched, carrying with us the wisdom and insights that will illuminate the path forward. Steps toward healing and readiness for new relationships. 7. Integrating Stoicism into daily life for lasting relationship success. Daily Stoic exercises. Embarking on the journey toward healing and preparing oneself for new relationships after enduring the pain of a breakup or loss is both a deeply personal and universally relatable experience. This path, while challenging, is rich with opportunities for self-discovery, growth, and ultimately, the opening of one's heart to love again. Drawing on Stoic principles can offer guidance and support through this transformative process, providing a philosophical framework that encourages resilience, self-awareness, and a renewed sense of hope. 
The first step toward healing is the acceptance of the pain and the situation as it is. Stoicism teaches us the importance of facing reality squarely, acknowledging our feelings without judgment or denial. This acceptance doesn't mean resignation, but rather recognizing the pain as a part of the human experience, something that, while difficult, has the potential to teach us profound lessons about ourselves and our capacity for resilience. It's about giving ourselves permission to grieve, understanding that sorrow is not a sign of weakness, but a step toward healing. Once we've acknowledged and allowed ourselves to feel our emotions, the next step is to cultivate self-compassion. Healing from a breakup or loss often requires us to confront feelings of self-doubt, regret, and vulnerability. Practicing self-compassion means treating ourselves with the same kindness, understanding, and patience we would offer a good friend in a similar situation. It involves recognizing our worth, forgiving ourselves for any perceived mistakes, and understanding that healing is a non-linear process filled with ups and downs. As we navigate the waters of healing, engaging in self-reflection is crucial. This involves looking inward to understand the dynamics of the past relationship, our role in it, and what we can learn from the experience. It's an opportunity to reassess our needs, desires, and values in a relationship, refining our understanding of what we truly seek in a partner. This period of self-reflection can lead to significant personal growth, enhancing our self-awareness and ensuring that when we're ready to enter a new relationship, we do so with a clearer sense of who we are and what we want. Another important step is rebuilding one's life independently, rediscovering individual interests, passions and friendships that may have been neglected. This rebuilding is not just about distraction, but about re-establishing a sense of self and purpose outside of a romantic relationship. It's about filling our lives with activities and people that bring us joy and fulfillment, which in turn strengthens our sense of self-worth and happiness. Finally, openness to new experiences and relationships is the last step in the journey toward healing and readiness for new love. This doesn't mean rushing into another relationship to fill the void left by the previous one, but rather when the time feels right, allowing ourselves to be open to the possibility of love again. It involves trusting in the resilience of the human heart, believing in the capacity for love after loss, and embracing the future with hope and optimism. In essence, the steps toward healing and readiness for new relationships are a testament to the strength and resilience of the human spirit. Guided by Stoic principles, this journey can lead us toward deeper self-understanding, personal growth, and the eventual opening of our hearts to new possibilities of love and connection. It's a path that, while often marked by challenges, holds the promise of renewed joy, love, and fulfillment. Mindfulness and Reflection Mindfulness and reflection are essential practices in the Stoic Toolkit, serving as powerful means to cultivate a deep sense of presence and self-awareness in our daily lives and relationships. By integrating mindfulness and reflection into our routines, we engage in a continuous process of observing our thoughts, emotions and reactions thereby gaining invaluable insights into our inner workings and improving our interactions with those around us. Mindfulness, in the Stoic sense, involves a deliberate focus on the present moment, fully engaging with our experiences without judgment or distraction. It's about being truly present with our partners, listening attentively and appreciating the small, everyday moments that often go unnoticed. This practice helps us to cherish the richness of our relationships beyond the surface level engagements that can sometimes dominate our interactions. When we are mindful, we open ourselves to the subtleties and nuances of our partner's needs and emotions, 
fostering a deeper connection and understanding. Reflection, on the other hand, is a complementary practice that involves looking inward to examine our thoughts, beliefs and behaviours. It's an opportunity to step back and consider how our actions align with our values and how we can better embody the virtues we strive for, such as patience, empathy and kindness. Evening reflection, in particular, allows us to review the day's events, especially those that involved our partner, to acknowledge our successes in navigating the day's challenges and to identify areas where we might improve. This introspective process is not about self-criticism, but about self-improvement, recognizing that growth is a continuous journey. Integrating mindfulness and reflection into our relationships means creating a space where both partners feel seen and understood. It involves actively choosing to engage with each other in a meaningful way, setting aside distractions to focus on the quality of our time together. This might mean simple acts such as turning off our phones during meals, truly listening when our partner speaks, or sharing thoughts and feelings in a reflective manner. manner. Moreover, mindfulness and reflection foster resilience in relationships. By being present and reflective, we learn to navigate conflicts and challenges with a calm and clear mind, approaching problems as opportunities for growth rather than sources of division. This stoic approach to relationship maintenance strengthens the bond between partners as they learn to tackle life's obstacles with a united front, grounded in mutual understanding and respect. In essence, mindfulness and reflection are not just practices for individual growth, but are also foundational to building and sustaining loving, resilient relationships. They encourage us to live and love more intentionally, deepening our connections with those around us through a shared commitment to presence, growth and understanding. By making these practices a part of our daily lives, we cultivate relationships that are not only enduring but also enriching, reflecting the stoic ideals of wisdom, virtue and joy in the shared human experience. Celebrating successes together. Celebrating successes together is an integral aspect of nurturing and sustaining a deep, meaningful relationship. This practice, rooted in the principles of stoic joy and mutual support, emphasizes the importance of recognizing and honoring both individual and shared achievements as milestones in the journey of life and love. It's a testament to the idea that while personal accomplishments are significant, they gain even greater value when shared with someone we love, reinforcing the bond and fostering a sense of shared purpose and happiness. In the context of a relationship, celebrating successes together involves more than merely acknowledging achievements. It's about genuinely sharing in each other's joy and triumphs, regardless of the scale. It could be as monumental as a career milestone, as personal as overcoming a fear or insecurity, or as simple as sticking to a new habit or hobby. The act of celebrating these successes cultivates an environment of positivity, appreciation and encouragement, where each partner feels valued, supported and motivated to pursue their goals and dreams. Moreover, this practice of celebrating together strengthens the foundation of the relationship by reinforcing the sense of partnership and teamwork. It reminds both individuals that they are not alone in their endeavors. They have a cheerleader, a confidant, and a partner in joy. This shared celebration can take many forms, from a quiet, intimate dinner at home to a grand gesture of love and appreciation. The method of celebration is not as important as the intention behind it the desire to uplift and honor each other's achievements. Celebrating successes together also plays a crucial role in maintaining a balanced perspective on life and the relationship. In times of challenge or conflict, remembering the moments of achievement and shared joy can serve as a beacon of hope and a reminder of the strength and resilience of the bond. 
It's a way to keep the spark of positivity alive, even when faced with adversity, fostering a resilient, enduring partnership that thrives on mutual support and admiration. Furthermore, this practice aligns with the stoic value of gratitude. By taking the time to celebrate successes, both partners cultivate a deeper sense of gratitude for each other and for the life they are building together. It's an acknowledgement that every achievement, no matter how small, is a step forward in the journey of growth and self-improvement, and that journey is all the more meaningful when shared. In a sense, celebrating successes, together is a powerful expression of love, support, and mutual respect in a relationship. It's about cherishing the moments of triumph, supporting each other through the trials, and recognizing that every success, whether individual or shared, is a testament to the strength and depth of the connection. By integrating this practice into the fabric of the relationship, partners can cultivate a bond that is not only joyous and fulfilling, but also resilient and enduring, reflecting the stoic ideals of wisdom, virtue, and shared happiness. Overcoming challenges as a couple. Overcoming challenges as a couple is an essential aspect of building a strong, enduring relationship. This process, deeply ingrained in the philosophy of Stoicism, involves facing life's inevitable obstacles with a united front, harnessing the power of partnership to navigate through difficulties with resilience, wisdom, and mutual support. It's about recognizing that while challenges are a natural part of any relationship, the way they are approached and resolved can significantly strengthen the bond between partners, turning potential setbacks into opportunities for growth and deeper connection. The stoic approach to overcoming challenges as a couple emphasizes the importance of open, honest communication. It encourages partners to share their thoughts, fears, and perspectives openly without judgment or defensiveness. This level of transparency fosters understanding and empathy, creating a foundation of trust that is crucial for tackling obstacles together. By actively listening to each other and seeking to understand the other's viewpoint, couples can identify the root causes of their challenges and work towards solutions that respect both partners' needs and values. Moreover, facing challenges as a couple involves recognizing and leveraging each partner's strengths. Everyone brings unique qualities and perspectives to a relationship, and these differences can be a powerful asset in overcoming difficulties. Whether it's one partner's creativity in finding solutions, or the other's calmness under pressure, acknowledging and utilizing these strengths enhances problem-solving capabilities and reinforces the sense of teamwork. Adopting a stoic mindset also means accepting what is within our control and letting go of what is not. Many challenges involve external factors that cannot be changed or influenced. By focusing on how they respond to these situations, rather than the situations themselves, couples can maintain a sense of agency and avoid feeling overwhelmed or helpless. This approach encourages adaptability and resilience, qualities that are invaluable in navigating life's ups and downs. Furthermore, overcoming challenges as a couple requires a commitment to mutual growth and learning. Each obstacle presents an opportunity to learn more about each other, to develop new skills, and to deepen the relationship. This might involve learning to compromise, developing better conflict resolution skills, or simply gaining a deeper appreciation for each other's experiences and viewpoints. By viewing challenges as catalysts for growth, couples can transform potentially divisive experiences into sources of strength and unity. In essence, overcoming challenges as a couple is about more than just solving problems. It's about building a relationship that is resilient, adaptive, and grounded in a deep sense of partnership. By communicating openly, leveraging each other's strengths, accepting what cannot be changed, and focusing on growth and learning, 
Couples can navigate life's challenges with grace and emerge stronger and more connected. This stoic approach to relationships offers a path to a fulfilling, enduring partnership, characterized by mutual support, respect, and a shared journey of growth and discovery. Stoic Meditation for Couples Stoic Meditation for Couples is a transformative practice that deepens the emotional and intellectual connection between partners, grounding their relationship in the principles of mindfulness, reflection, and mutual understanding. Drawing on the ancient wisdom of Stoicism, this form of meditation is not just about achieving individual peace and clarity, but about fostering a shared sense of harmony, resilience, and purpose within the relationship. At its core, Stoic meditation involves reflective practices that encourage individuals to contemplate life's virtues, the nature of their thoughts and emotions, and the dynamics of their actions and reactions. When adapted for couples, these meditations become a shared journey, an opportunity for both partners to explore their inner landscapes together, understand their mutual strengths and vulnerabilities, and cultivate a deeper appreciation for each other's unique perspectives and experiences. Practicing Stoic meditation as a couple involves setting aside dedicated time to engage in reflection and mindfulness exercises together. This might include reading and discussing Stoic texts or principles, focusing on themes like the importance of empathy, the acceptance of things beyond one's control, and the pursuit of virtuous living. Through these discussions, partners can gain insights into each other's values and thought processes, fostering a deeper intellectual and emotional bond. Moreover, Stoic meditation encourages couples to reflect on their relationship from a place of gratitude and acceptance. Together, they can contemplate the moments of joy and challenge they have faced, acknowledging the growth and learning that have emerged from these experiences. This practice helps to reinforce the positive aspects of the relationship, encouraging a focus on mutual support and appreciation, rather than dwelling on imperfections or conflicts. Couples can also engage in mindfulness practices that emphasize the present moment encouraging them to fully experience and appreciate their time together without the distractions of daily stresses or future anxieties. This could involve a simple exercises like shared breathing techniques, silent contemplation of nature, or even mindful engagement with each other's presence, such as focusing on the sound of the partner's voice or the warmth of their touch. These practices help to cultivate a sense of presence and attentiveness that can enhance communication and intimacy. Incorporating Stoic meditation into the routine of a couple's life requires intentionality and commitment, but offers profound benefits. It provides a framework for navigating the ups and downs of a relationship with grace and wisdom, enabling partners to approach challenges with a balanced perspective and to celebrate joys with a deep sense of gratitude. Ultimately, Stoic meditation for couples is about more than just individual tranquility. It's about building a relationship that is resilient, deeply connected and aligned with the enduring principles of Stoic philosophy. By engaging in these practices together, Couples can not only enhance their personal well-being, but also forge a stronger, more meaningful partnership. Planning for the future with Stoicism. Planning for the future with Stoicism involves a mindful and balanced approach, embodying principles that encourage resilience, adaptability, and a focus on what truly matters. This philosophical framework offers couples a unique perspective on future planning, one that emphasizes the importance of virtues, shared goals, and the acceptance of life's inherent uncertainties. In the Stoic view, planning for the future is not about trying to predict or control every outcome, but about preparing oneself internally for whatever may come. For couples, this means cultivating a relationship that is not only rooted in mutual love and respect, 
but also equipped to handle life's inevitable changes and challenges. It involves setting intentions and goals that align with both partners' values and aspirations, while also remaining adaptable and open to life's unpredictable nature. A key aspect of Stoic future planning is the distinction between what is within our control and what is not. Couples can work together to identify the aspects of their life and relationship they can directly influence, such as their communication habits, personal and mutual growth efforts, and responses to external stresses. At the same time, they can practice letting go of the anxiety that comes from trying to control the uncontrollable, whether it's the outcome of a job application, the health of a loved one, or the state of the world. This mindset fosters a sense of peace and resilience, allowing couples to face the future with confidence, regardless of what it may bring. Furthermore, Stoicism encourages a focus on the present as the foundation for a fulfilling future. By cherishing and making the most of each moment together, couples can build a strong, joyful relationship that is prepared for the future, but not overly preoccupied with it. This involves practicing gratitude for the present, engaging fully in shared activities and experiences, and nurturing a deep appreciation for each other's company and support, planning for the future. With Stoicism also means embracing challenges and setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning. Couples can adopt a proactive stance toward potential obstacles, discussing how they can support each other through difficult times and how they can use adversity as a catalyst for strengthening their bond and personal virtues. This approach turns the process of future planning into an ongoing dialogue about growth, resilience, and the shared journey of life. In essence, planning for the future with Stoicism offers a balanced and mindful approach to navigating life's journey together. It encourages couples to align their goals and intentions with their deepest values, to remain adaptable in the face of change, and to cherish the present as the foundation for a meaningful and resilient future. By integrating Stoic principles into their planning, couples can cultivate a relationship that is not only prepared for whatever the future holds, but also enriched by a profound sense of purpose, unity, and mutual support. Throughout our exploration of integrating Stoic principles into daily life for lasting relationship success, we've delved into practices that not only enhance personal well-being, but also fortify the bonds we share with our partners. From the outset, we emphasize the importance of daily Stoic exercises, mindfulness and reflection, celebrating successes together, overcoming challenges as a couple, the enriching practice of Stoic meditation, and the forward-thinking approach of planning for the future with Stoicism. Each of these sections has offered insights and practical strategies for nurturing a relationship that is not only loving and joyful, but also resilient and deeply rooted in mutual growth and understanding. As we conclude this journey, I encourage you to begin applying these Stoic principles in your life and relationships. Start small, choosing one or two practices to integrate into your daily routine and observe the impact they have on your interactions and overall relationship dynamic. Whether it's setting aside time for joint reflection, consciously practicing gratitude towards each other, or facing life's challenges with a united and stoic front, each step you take is a move towards a more fulfilling and harmonious partnership. Moreover, I invite you to share your experiences with these stoic practices, whether it's through social media, a personal blog, or discussions with friends and family, sharing your journey can inspire others to explore the wisdom of Stoicism in their own lives. By doing so, you contribute to building a community of individuals and couples who value depth, resilience, and growth in their relationships. This exploration doesn't end here. It's merely the beginning of a lifelong practice of applying Stoic wisdom to deepen and enrich your relationships. Remember, the goal is not perfection, but progress.
towards understanding, love, and a shared life that reflects the best of what Stoic philosophy offers. So, take these insights, make them your own, and let them guide you and your partner towards a relationship that thrives on every level. Thank you so much for joining us on this profound journey through the principles of Stoicism and how they can be applied to foster lasting relationship success. We've explored together the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, from daily exercises that ground us in virtue and mindfulness, to practices that strengthen our bonds and enable us to face challenges with resilience and grace. It's been an insightful exploration of how ancient philosophy can enrich modern relationships, providing tools for growth, understanding and deeper connection. If you found value in what we've shared today, I encourage you not to let the journey end here. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more content that delves into the rich intersection of philosophy, personal development and the art of living well. If this discussion has sparked new thoughts, ideas or questions for you, please like this video and share your reflections in the comments below. Your insights not only enrich our community, but also inspire future content that can benefit us all. Moreover, if you believe in the power of these practices to transform relationships and lives, please share this video with friends, family or anyone who might appreciate this stoic approach to relationship success. Together, we can build a community of thoughtful individuals dedicated to cultivating meaningful connections and living with intention and wisdom. Thank you again for watching and for being a part of this journey towards understanding and applying Stoic principles in our lives and relationships. Remember, the path to a fulfilling relationship is one of continual learning, practice and openness to growth. We look forward to sharing and exploring more with you in the future.